This is how to play the two-player card game Boba Mahjong. In Boba Mahjong, you compete head-to-head -head making matches and collecting ingredients to be used in end-of-round scoring. The cards consist of four numbered suits that run 0 to 8 and one topping suit. The game is played in a series of rounds and continues until one player acquires a total of six or more victory tokens at the end of a round. To set up the game, each player takes a player aid. Place the victory tokens within reach of both players. Whoever last had a boba drink is the starting player. To set up the round, shuffle all boba cards and place them face down in a supply deck. Deal five cards face down to each player as their starting hand. Create a three card row next to the supply deck, creating three mixing piles. If any of these three cards are a zero, shuffle it back into the supply deck and draw another card to replace it until there are no zeros in any of the mixing piles. Players are always free to look through the mixing piles. The game is played over a number of rounds, each round consisting of alternating turns, beginning with the starting player. On a player's turn, they do the following. Draw two cards face down from the supply, or draw one of the top cards from one of the three face-up mixing piles. Then, choose to either repeat drawing, or create between one and three sets. Sets always consist of three cards. To create a set, a player must use either three cards from their hand, or two cards from their hand, and one card from the top of one of the mixing piles. A set consists of three number cards of any color, or three topping cards. Sets can be a straight of any three consecutive numbers. The numbers may not loop around. For example, you can have a 678, but not a 781. A set can also be a three of a kind, where you have three identical numbers. In the case of a straight or a three of a kind, zeros may be used as numerically wild, and you can use one, two, or three zeros to create a set. A set can also consist of three topping cards, However, zeros may not be used as wilds in this instance. When you create a set, choose one of the three cards to go into a scoring pile into your tableau in front of you. The remaining two cards from that set must be placed face up on the mixing piles. If there are any empty mixing piles, you must discard cards there first. Otherwise, you choose where to place them. Any zeros you choose to discard in this way must be placed in a face-up discard pile next to the supply deck, removed from the round instead of into the mixing piles. If you make more than one set in a single turn, repeat these steps and place all cards you keep in a single turn in a score pile in front of you, keeping in mind that you can create a maximum of three sets per turn. Every turn that you make a set, you will create a new pile of score cards in your tableau. At the end of your turn, discard your hand down to seven cards placing all non-zero cards into mixing piles and all zero cards into the discard pile. A round can end in one of two ways. Either one player ends their turn with five or more piles, or the supply deck is depleted. In either case, the opposing player takes a final turn and the round ends. Players then assess the cards in the score piles in front of them and choose up to six to use in the end of round scoring phase. In the scoring phase, it should be noted that zero is no longer wild and is simply treated as the number zero of its suit color. Using their selected cards, both players use all cards to score in four different areas. Freshness. Players score based on the amount of matching numbered cards. To score the maximum 10 points in this category, a player would need four of the same number in four different colors. Smoothness. Points are earned for having a numerical straight of at least three cards. The more cards in the straight, the more points are earned. Complexity. Earn points based on having one, two, or a maximum of three topping cards. And presentation. Either the number of same color cards you have, or the number of different colors you have. Once you score all of your cards in each of these four categories, take one scoring token for every five points rounded down. So a total score of 13 points in a single round would earn you two scoring tokens, but a score of 15 would earn you three. Once end of round scoring is complete, if no player has earned at least six scoring tokens, shuffle all cards together and repeat the start of round setup, with the player with the fewest victory tokens becoming the start player. If there's a tie, the start player remains the same. The game ends when a player earns at least six scoring tokens at the end of round scoring. 
When this happens, the player with the most scoring tokens wins. In case of a tie, the player who scored the most points in the last round wins. And if there is still a tie, the players share the victory. To play the advanced rules, at the start of each round, draw a card from the supply deck and set it face up to the mixing area. This card may be used by both players as one of their six cards in end of round scoring. In addition, the finalized copy of this game will have card ability text written on the topping cards. Whenever a player places a topping card in a score pile in front of them, after creating a set, they may immediately use the card ability text. When drawing cards due to topping powers, always draw from the supply deck. A topping ability is not triggered when the topping is placed in front of a player due to a topping power instead of a set creation. And that's how you play the two-player card game Boba Majong.